What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today guys, we are going to do, well actually not today guys, this is just going to be the first day, but we're going to have like six different parts to this video. But guys, I'm going to try to make the go-to guide and it's going to cost you guys 10 equal payments of zero dollars. So guys, this is going to be a cheap tutorial, but it is going to be the tutorial that you need just for everything. So if you guys are like, Bro, I got a cell phone. I don't know what MetaMask is. I barely know what Coinbase is. And I just got some money or a credit card and I got like 50 bucks and these videos you're doing are pretty cool. How do I do this? Well guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in this video from literally, well not this video, it's gonna be like four videos, but this is the first video on how to get the fun started. So we're gonna show you how to turn that trash into like some crypto and have some fun with it. So guys, first off, if you guys are new to the channel, I need you guys to do four things for me. Actually, three and then one more. That's four, right? All right, so like, subscribe, a button, leave a comment below saying you subscribe and you'll automatically get thrown into a drawing to earn $100 in free BTC. All right, guys, if you guys don't like BTC, then don't do anything. If you guys like BTC, then you better do something. All right, guys. So this is also another thing we got going on. We have a Ethereum giveaway going on. So if you guys want to participate in this, we got a lot of people uh, participating. I think we got like 11 different peeps in it right now. It's trying to load, but my computer is super slow. I need to get a new one really bad. Anyways, guys, um, for the address, this is it here. You guys can copy and paste it on Etherscan. Um, I haven't shown you guys how to use Etherscan. I apologize, but all you got to do is do View Explorer. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's Etherscan.io. And these are the different deposits that we have right now. So what I'm going to do at the end of the month, guys, June 30th or 31st, whichever one comes first, right? Or no, not first, whichever one comes last. Um, so when, when, or at the end of the month, we're going to select these at entirely random. It's going to be a random number generator and any of these wallet addresses that get selected or one of them, they will get all the funds that are in this wallet. And guys, I'm not going to throw any of my wallet addresses in there. This is all between you guys. So have fun. And same thing with the BTC giveaway. That'll be at the end of the month. And that one is sponsored by yours truly. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the content. Enough of me ranting. But you guys are like, okay, I got this money and I don't know what to do. Well, you're going to need a MetaMask. But before you get a MetaMask, you need to get some money on the network. There's a link in the description below where you guys can use Coinbase. Coinbase is what I use personally. I don't like trading at all on Coinbase, but this is my fiat on ramp. So what I do is I use this to buy USDC and it's the cheapest way to do it too. So I buy USDC at a one to one ratio. So like every dollar I get one USDC and there are no fees with it. Guys, it's fire sauce. You can't beat it. This is like a little hack you can do as well. So you get free USDC. Yes, you have to hold it on Coinbase for like four days, five days or something. But dude, it's free. You don't have to pay any fees and you automatically get crypto or fiat into crypto. So now you guys got your USDC on Coinbase. You had to wait your four days, five days, whatever. They do allow you to have some instantly withdrawn or allow you to instantly withdraw some of the crypto. Um, but yeah, you can't withdraw all of it until that waiting period is over. But now that you got it off Coinbase, now you guys are like, okay, great, this is awesome. What the pants? I can't use my Coinbase on Aave, SushiSwap, Curve. It, it, this is garbage. Drake, why did you get me into this junk? I thought you were trying to help me. Yeah, d d take it easy. It's okay. I'm here for you. All right, so we got it on Coinbase. It's USDC. USDC is an ERC-20. If you don't know what an ERC-20 is, all you need to know is that it's an Ethereum token. MetaMask is basically Ethereum based. So you guys, depending on what you're wanting to do, you're first going to need to get it on MetaMask. If you guys don't know how to download MetaMask, well, this video is not for you because all you gotta do is click a button and it says download now and you do Chrome, iOS or Android and you install. Okay, I guess it is part of this video. That's it. So now that's done. We got it on MetaMask. Now what, Drake? Okay, well, ignore this page I have open right now. We're going to show you the MetaMask. 
This is what you need to know with MetaMask. If you're like, bro, I'm I, I'm new to this, but I'm pretty advanced. Well, trying to be advanced, and I think this is pretty cool. I want to connect my hardware wallet. You literally just click connect your hardware wallet, and when you have your hardware ledger or whatever you have plugged in, you hit continue, and it will sense it. It'll look for your ledger, and it'll automatically link it up. We aren't going to link my ledger because I'm already linked with my ledger. And then it'll pull up your ledger address, which will be like, bam, right there. So see, my ledger is connected to it. The reason why a ledger is important is because hackers cannot go through your computer and click your buttons. Your buttons are on your ledger or hardware wallet. Only you can click in person. So it's not foolproof because there are hacks and tricks that they can do is they can force you or accidentally make you or trick you into signing something that you aren't trying to sign. Uh, we'll give more information on that later, but you guys need to make sure you understand what contracts you are signing before you sign them, especially when they are dealing with larger funds. If they're smaller, it's okay. I like to donate to scammers. They, they, can, they need all the donations they can have. So now that we have the MetaMask set up, here are some cool tips and tricks you guys need to know with MetaMask. So with MetaMask, there is actually a section where you can do expand view. So this is very convenient when you guys are looking to add custom RPC networks because you can literally go back and forth and copy and paste. So we're, this is the custom RPC you can add. So we already have most of them added right now but I, this is where you can get all the custom RPCs as well. And if you guys don't know what a custom RPC is, it, it's this. So if you guys are like, hey, how do I get on Nomadic? How do I do all that fun stuff you're doing? How do I get on Binance Smart Chain? Well, this link I'll put in the description below. All this information that you see here, you literally copy and paste this junk. Forget the test net. Don't do the test net ones unless you want to just play with funny money and do nothing. But all you do is you copy and paste this stuff. Don't copy and paste this 324, but copy and paste all the way up until the slash. So you see network name and look, network name, new RPC URL, new RPC URL. You literally just copy and paste this junk. That's it. That's how you set up those custom RPCs. That's how you have different networks on your MetaMask. So we did Coinbase, we did MetaMask, we added our custom RPCs. All right, Drake, so now how do I get my money over here? So now what you do is on Coinbase, that USDC you just bought, this address that's right here, this is where you're gonna send your USDC. It is different for other tokens, but for USDC and DAI from Coinbase, those are on Ethereum by default and USDT. But yeah, they did. They support USDT now. So, um, yeah, me personally, what do I like to use? What do I prefer? I prefer USDC and DAI because USDT is a little bit sketch. I also like UST, but I'm not going to confuse you. So I'm not going to talk about UST and UST is mainly more prominent on the Terra ecosystem. Sorry for confusing you, but if you guys know what you're doing and understand a little bit more of it, you'll understand what that comment means. So we get our USDC over here. Now what, Drake? My money's here. I need it on Matic Network, and you basically just ruined my life because all my money is off Coinbase, and now my money is on this MetaMask wallet because I have no Ethereum here, so what the pants? I can't do anything with this junk. This junk's trash. Well, you got to get some Ethereum too. So you got to send Ethereum from your Coinbase. If you guys want to bypass the USDC step, you can trade USDC for some Ethereum on Coinbase if you want to, but regardless, whatever happens, you are still going to have to pay, unfortunately, two Ethereum gas fees. Make sure you guys do them while it's low. If you guys want to check out a fun website that I literally like to just veg out on and eat popcorn and stare and watch this thing go through, it's called Transaction Street. This is like my favorite channel of all time. It's like so cool. So you can literally see all of the transactions that are going through. You can see all these people waiting to go, waiting in line to waste all their money on these gas fees. 
Same thing with these guys waiting to just spend all of their Bitcoins. So guys, it's pretty cool. Uh, and you guys are looking at 10 GUI, 11 GUI, like woof, what the pants does that mean? Well, if you guys ever want to test out how much a transaction is going to cost, all you got to do is do send. You pick a address. Let's you say I'm going to transfer to this account and then we'll give an example. We'll do advanced options. This is also another tip with MetaMask. You guys see it's 22 GUI. So this is the transaction to send uh, from MetaMask to another network. However, when you're using like a Uniswap or a one inch, those transactions get a bit more complex. This is going to be your simplest transaction and it's going to cost you about a buck 28 at 22 GUE. So now right now it looks like the going rate is about 15. So I see the rate's going to be about 77 cents. Not too bad, not too shabby. I like shabby. That's good. So that's how you can factor that in. This slow average fast junk is trash. Forget it. Don't use it. Go buy the GUIs, go buy the advanced options, use that. That is your best bet. Come on Transaction Street, see what the transactions are, and do it yourself on the advance. I've tried the slow, medium, fast. It's just straight trash. Don't mess with it. So now I know you guys are asking yourself, okay, when do I need to send slow, medium, and fast or change the GUIs and transactions? Well, if you guys are trading on Uniswap or 1inch, you really need to make sure you do a transaction that either has the a little bit more than the GUI that's displayed here, or if you guys are like wanting that instant one, you probably want to do even more. And the reason being is when you have a slippage tolerance, let me just go ahead and show you guys on Uniswap because I know I'm basically speaking a foreign language to you guys right now. Guys, thanks for being patient. This is literally a deep dive for you. So try to take in as much as you can. But this slippage tolerance right here, you can set it to like 0.5%. You can set it to 1%, 2%. And what does this mean? Well, you guys see this thing that says you may be front run. Whoa, what the pants? I'm not doing that. Well, yeah, that, that's true. You can be front run. Front running is basically what happens when you're like, okay, I'm going to buy one Ethereum for 100 USDC. And a miner sees another guy selling some Ethereum for 90 bucks. That miner is going to buy it for that guy for 90 bucks and sell it to you for 100. Now, why is that a problem? Well, if you didn't do the 2% slippage, you would have got that Ethereum for $90. So that's something you guys have to factor in. And the reason why you want to do speedy and quick transactions is, especially when you're trading a small token, is guys, these prices can fluctuate several percentages within seconds. So if you're going to have a transaction that is like, hey, I, I don't care. I'll just let it go out there in the mempool. Mempool is that um, the, all those trains and buses and cars that we we're seeing with the, the funny people waiting to waste all their money. Yeah, that's the mempool. Those are all the transactions that are waiting to go out. If you get thrown into that mempool, uh, who knows? If the slippage goes way up, well, your transaction is not going to go through because it's going to revert. So you can change this tolerance to accept that. Or you can be like, bro, I'm going to do a tight slippage. I'm going to do 0.5% and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to send this with a crazy high, not a crazy high gas fee, gas fee but uh, a fee higher than average. And it'll go through within four to eight seconds, depending on how long it takes. But one thing you guys need to keep in mind when you guys are doing this is if you do a transaction that is below the average cost or gets stuck in the mempool forever, you can't do any other transactions on that network. It's all in order. So all your other transactions are going to be queued. So if you ever get stuck with a transaction, there is a option to speed it up. You won't be able to see it on this one, but on the activity, there's a button that says cancel or speed up. You can hit speed up and then change the gas fee. So you'll basically send another transaction on top of it. So that's something to really keep in mind. All right, so now that you understand those concepts and ideas, when should you use a low transaction fee and a high transaction fee? Me personally, when I'm trading, I use high transaction fees because when they revert or fail, especially on Uniswap, you're basically just going to be wasting gas. And when you're wasting gas, you would have been better off just paying the higher transaction fee. Now, 
using lower transaction fees, those are something for like sit it and forget it, I don't care. So this is like when I'm paying my rent or when I'm paying my boss or paying people, I do it the slowest transaction fee as possible and that way I just blame it on the Ethereum mempool. No, I'm just kidding guys, no. I don't do that. Um, but anyways, the, the concept is, is if it's something that isn't super urgent, uh, you can just send out a transaction with a low fee or somewhat low. But be careful. If you're sending it somewhat low and lower or super low, you can't send any other transactions. And the best time to send transactions are after 3 o'clock to around 5 o'clock um, Nah, Monday, Mondays, you're usually busy. So Tuesdays through Fridays, Friday nights are usually fire. And why are they fire, guys? Well, because everyone's drunk and not doing crypto. Well, if they're drunk and doing crypto, then it's probably not a good thing. But you, you factor in around when people are doing things. So typically when people are at work, they're usually using crypto a lot <laughs> if they're at a desk. Um, and another way to factor it in is the reason why like around two to five is usually good. This is my time though. This is Eastern standard time. So whatever your time is two to five, you go, well, I guess it's the same thing. What the pants? Why am I saying that? All right. So around two to five, uh, Tuesdays to Fridays are going to be about your best time because when you transact during those times, there's not going to be a lot of people on the network. So whenever there's a lot of people and a lot of congestion, it's not fun. You're just going to be waiting forever. So we got our money on MetaMask. We got our money on Ethereum. We got Ethereum and we got our USDC on our MetaMask. How do we get our money on different networks? Okay, well, it depends. My favorite bridge is XPollinate. XPollinate has XDAI, Matic, Phantom, Binance. So you can use all of these. So you, this is how you're going to swap it though. So if you guys have your, well, first you guys have your money on Ethereum. So that's going to be a problem. You can't use this. But if you guys already have it on Binance Smart Chain, which you do it from withdrawing from Binance or using the Binance Bridge, this is your money shot right here. This will save you on gas fees. I don't really need to explain that at all because you don't have to pay Ethereum. Now, if you guys are like, Drake, unfortunately, I'm on, I'm on Ethereum and I'm called a winner. Um, well, then you're going to need to use the Matic Bridge. If you don't know how to get to the Matic Bridge, just go to Quick Swap and click this button that says Bridge Assets, and it'll bring money to Polygon. And you click this button that says Move th Funds to Ethereum. This is fun. So you literally enter any amount of Ethereum or any of the tokens that you want to transfer over. I don't know why they have Che Guevara and Hot Love and some great junk. I guess someone added this as a joke. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so we're going to do USDC and you can select it. Oh, wait, no, I get what happened. Someone sent me uh, 80,000 penis. I don't know why they did, but they did. Um, I guess it's as a joke, but it'll automatically show the tokens in your wallet. Um, so we are going to transfer some hot love to polygon so we're gonna say trans oh dude it's worth six bucks i'm gonna go trade this junk all right so someone airdropped me some hot love tokens i have no idea what they are for but guys this is how you do it so this is the same concept so we're gonna transfer some hot love so it automatically figures out what is in your wallet and we're gonna transfer this to polygon um, so you have two options. The first one is you can do, um, Ethereum to Polygon within seven to eight minutes using the, uh, proof of stake bridge, or you can use the plasma bridge, which is going to take you a couple of hours. I recommend the proof of stake because it's quicker and it takes about eight minutes. So once you guys get your money on there, you're great. Guys, I got to see what these other tokens are. We're going to watch this while we're on here. Yi Yu Bao. How much is this worth? Okay, it's worth nothing. Um, Ignis. It's worth nothing. Uh, Hot Love is worth the $6.03. That's not bad. That's good, guys. Um, I'm going to check this out. 
Wonder if I could sell my pink. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let's see how much this is worth. All right, guys. So apparently, my you know what does not show up on Uniswap. So I guess it's just one of those scam tokens. So who cares, guys? But that's how crypto works. It's a random airdrop, and you can look up the different tokens that you have that actually have value and are not like junk pieces or pieces of junk. And you just go on etherscan.io and you copy your address in there and you can see everything on there. So guys, uh, that's how you use the bridge. How do you, we're going to get rid of that because I don't want to see that. Um, this is how you guys use the bridge, how you guys get it on the Polygon. When you're on Polygon, check out the videos on how to use the other junk. Um, I'm going to make a part two, part three, part four, and a part five on other stuff on the video. But this is basically your all-in-one guide, literally from trash to crypto. So, here you guys go. This is the XDeFi wallet address. Again, if you guys want to participate in that Ethereum giveaway, any of the wallets that interact with this wallet will automatically get thrown into, well, not thrown into, but will earn any of the ethereum that is in this address all of these wallets that have interacted with this address will be randomly selected so guys i'm going to use a random number generator and the other three things three things guys like subscribe a button leave a comment below in the description you'll get thrown into a drawing to earn 100 dollars and free btc all right guys and i also want to say this as well uh sean bot he is our first patreon uh, i want to say thank you and really appreciate the support uh guys sean bot is a patreon on our patreon account so if you guys want to become a patreon and support the channel here's a way to do it but again thank you sean um let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner Proverbs chapter 20 Four, what? I did 25? What the shirt? Proverbs chapter 24, verses 15. Do not lurk like a thief near the house of righteous. Do not plunder their dwelling place. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. That's so true, man. Especially, <laughs> that that's, that. oh, I wouldn't say it's ironic, but um, if you guys think about it, most people, like, churches and well i mean there are some robberies but most people don't really go try to rob a church building god's wrath is pretty vicious man dogs thanks for watching all right guys if you want to catch me on tiktok i do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind the scenes junk so here it is scan it check it out bomb bomb all right so next off guys if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it you guys can check out celsius celsius is fire dude so what's so cool about celsius is guys first off you can get 40 dollars in free btc using my referral link in the description below just deposit 100 bucks add in the uh, code btc50 you will also get an additional 50 dollars if you deposit 400 dollars, guys it's free btc Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it